My first job was handing out flyers. One thing I learned was that people don't want flyers. When someone takes one, you're like, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Chilenya and I play Viv from Sex Education. Hello, I'm Amy and I play Amy in Sex Education. And these are some of our first. Yeah, my first day on a set was for Sex Education. It was the first screen job that I got. We were filming The Party season one um, at Amy's house. And I just remember being so nervous, but also so excited because everyone was together. It was so exciting. And I remember just clinging to Shooty for dear life. I was, we were just like walking around like this. So we were both so nervous, but it was great. It was the perfect first week, I think, doing the party. My first day, it was a really easy scene. Came in, um, I don't think anyone else was there. It was just me and Ang and a couple of other ADs. Um, and the scene was just me looking into the, um, the distance at Jackson, who wasn't actually there. So I was basically alone on my first no. day. <laughs> yeah. No. no, it was nice. It was a really easy scene. And like, it was nice to just go from, do something, do nothing basically, and then build up to the big bits. It happened really quickly. I was watching season one of Sex Education with all my friends. This was on the day it came out, and we went to get, we walked down the street to get snacks. I think I was in my pajamas, and I walked down, and someone went, "Oh my god, Sex Education! I gotta love that show." And I thought it was out about three hours ago, and I was like, "But I, what? I'm still, what? I'm on like episode three. What the hell? That was surreal." That's when I realised it might be, might be quite life changing. I think for me it was when I was going to a nail shop, and I just entered, um, and then people just like started looking at me, and I was just like, "What do you want? Are you trying to fight me?" <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought we were about to tussle. I forgot that I was on such a big show, and it was that, and they were like, oh, "You're from Sex Education." I'm like. Oh yeah, I calmed down. I was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. I think that was my first moment with a fan. One of my first like paychecks. I went to the Vivian Westwood store with my friend Shiv, and I was just like, I'm gonna buy something here, whatever the cost. And I saw this jacket, and I was just like in love with it. And I remember calling my agent. I was like, What do you think about this? And he was like yeah it's, it's nice buy it and then i bought it and i've never worn it since but i love vivian westwood that was my big purchase my big first big spend do you know what i remember getting a pair of trainers and i can't remember exactly what they were now but they were like it was like the first time you know when you go to shop and you don't you go over to the till and they say there's ridiculous price for a pair of trainers and i was like yep yeah you didn't wince <laughs> I think my first audition was to get into National Youth Theatre and I think I was about like thir 13, really young and I picked the most random monologue, I can't even remember it, it didn't suit me at all, it was for like a really, I think the character that I was playing was 50 but it was like really dramatic so I was like oh they obviously want this, they want to see some drama yeah. um, and I went into that audition and I was terrible looking back at it, but at the time I thought I was the best thing. I, I didn't get in that time and fair enough, I, I wouldn't have given me a place. But the second time I did get in and now we're here. My first audition was for Oxford School of Drama foundation course. My drama teacher, bless her, she had great intentions, but she did a kind of like monologue workshop with me where we picked the monologue and it was the same thing. It's all the stuff that you think that you now know, don't do that. That you kind of should do something that just really suits you. And no accents and all that stuff, just be yourself effectively. I did my Shakespeare and a Somerset accent, and then I did a really, really dramatic monologue, like so grim about like a, a baby that died. And it was just so, it was a lot. I used to work at Burger King. I think it made me realize the the hard work that goes into making a burger mm. and also makes me realize not to eat it yeah i can imagine Oof. my first job was handing out flyers one thing i learned was that people don't want flyers 
when someone takes one, you're like, thank you. Thank you so much because nobody, nobody wants that. And I do it now. Now I'll just take things. I don't know who that is. I'm so sorry. My first kiss was in my nursery. There was a boy called Adam. We must have been married in a past life. We sat next to each other and we just had this cosmic connection. We were like holding hands and we we acted like a, a grown up couple. It was really <laughs> weird. And we used to sit in nursery and they'd be like story time. And we'd just be sat at the back kissing. How old are you at nursery? Like four. And you had a cosmic connection. Oh yeah. It was weird. It was weird. I think my, my hand. <laughs> You know? Right? Surely that's the that practice. I think the first time we learned about sex in school was when I was like 13, 14, and we did like a sex education class. I remember them pulling out like a banana to put on like the condom. And I was like, this is not realistic, is it? But it was good, it was good. And I think I learned a lot of stuff from my like, friends, um, Fifty Shades of Grey. I think my first time was with this really quite shy, sweet teacher and he was trying to talk about sex and it was just painful to watch. And this boy, he was a bit cheeky, he put his hand up and he went, um, I watched a video of a woman licking a man's penis. Why would she be doing that? And this man just went bright red and was like, well, because there's lots of there's lots of nerve endings in a penis and it, it might have felt nice. I remember why that was weird, because it was the first time that pleasure had been spoken about. We were all just laughing so much, but also all bright red. Oof, God, and poor Mr. Taylor. The first movie I remember properly absorbing was a film called a simple wish and it had the little girl who plays matilda she gets a fairy godmother but it's actually it's it's a fairy godfather i remember watching that at my it was always at my nana's house i'd watched the same films over and over again also greece which i think explains a lot for our generation why were we all watching greece at four so odd so inappropriate i think the first movie i watched was all dogs go to heaven oh <gasps> Yeah, that was a sad film. But I don't think I ever like internalized it then. But now looking back, I was just like, wow, why were you watching that by yourself? The first book I remember reading was The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier. That book is amazing. Yeah, it's about like this teen going through a lot. Her dad's like a drug dealer. Her mum gets a scarred, so it changes her whole life. It's a really interesting book, I remember that. And maybe the Tracy Beaker stuff, um, like Jacqueline Wilson. I remember that, like Candy Floss. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The ones that I remember reading were the Jacqueline Wilson books. All my friends were like, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. I remember just not liking it because I think I was going through quite a tough time and I was like, but we're not going to go to Hogwarts and things like that don't happen. Whereas Jacqueline Wilson was always writing about divorces, yeah. And like, just, she was writing about realities. Real so I think Jacqueline Wilson books were just, I was, yeah, they were the ones. Mm. My first role model, I think was my mum. She could just work a room and she could like dazzle the room and she was so funny and she could do all these different funny voices. And, and then like my teacher, Mrs. Petrie at school, she was an amazing role model. Yeah, she was just so creative and so herself. She was one of those teachers that really, truly inspired her students, which I think is rare, but she just knew us all so well. Like on our last day of school, she, she got us all notebooks and she put on the front, Amy Wood, ideas for stand-up, because she thought I might be a comedian or something. Like she put an individual thing on everyone's, so that we all felt seen. So I think she was a pretty good role model. I'm going to say Beyonce, because, oh wow, everyone watched Coachella. I just think what she put into that show and the effort, the amount of time, rehearsals, just showed how strong she is. Virgo um, queen. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Team Vogue. And I hope you enjoyed some of our firsts. Remember to watch Sex Education. Thank you. Thank you.